Is this gonna be a thing now? You're just gonna be talking shit. Little fucker. Who's good, Potato Spin League here with another editions. Yeah, first one back was an etchy one. I rambled a lot. I got off topic. I repeated myself. If you're not familiar with editions on the channel, essentially what it is, is I talk about a game that I have played in the past or have been playing recently, and I talk about something that maybe I felt the game could have used, something that the developers could have added in there. Something that it probably should have added in there. And you should feel free to do the same in the comments down below. I try to ground myself. You don't have to. The sky's the fucking limit. If you suddenly want to cross over between Dark Souls and Code Vein, go for it. Gameplay is the same. If you want to find, like, Knight Artorius armor, hell yeah. If you want to find guns from Fallout, why not? If you suddenly want the option to be an amorphous blob and just float around shooting lasers, post in the comments, motherfuckers. And this time around, we're going to be talking about my love-hate relationship with Capcom. I fucking love everything they do. But I hate some of the mechanics in the game. Can't stand that shit. I, I, I love the original Resident Evil titles. But the camera angles are fucking terrible. I love Devil May Cry. I love fucking Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry 5. That's what this video's about. Hell yeah. No, I, I, I had some fun with this game. And they have never changed up the fucking controls. So it was very intuitive to just hop into this, blast everything out, and say, well, shit. It was another game of two brothers pissing on each other and the entire world getting caught up in that shit. Great story writing, Capcom. Just, just fucking great. It was fun. It was fun doing the combos. It was fun unlocking new shit whenever I actually got to Dante. It was fun seeing that Nero grew up and that they were finally bringing the whole plot full circle. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's cool. But they fucked up whenever the funnest character that you can play in the game is the guy who stands back and just mashes buttons while his pets do the work. That's when you know you screwed up. And whenever you have to bring other fuckers into the game to run a mission simultaneously, yeah, you feel like a real shit whenever they start the mission before you and they leave, and you see them leave, you feel like a slow piece of shit. Not a fan of that. Film me cry is a, a, a little bit self-explanatory, just in case you're not familiar. I'm gonna burp. The entire Devil May Cry story revolves around Dante and Virgil, the sons of Sparta, immortal demons, well, immortal half-demons who are constantly doing battle. They love nothing more than to try to kill the shit out of each other. Virgil's always trying to end the world, Dante's always trying to save it. Or so that seems to me. I just look at him like, well, will you guys just grow the fuck up? I love Devil May Cry 3. Y your squabbles really should have ended there. Get Getting sick of this pissing match between the both of you. Because that's all it fucking is. Eh, my sword's more badass. Well, dad gave me mine, motherfucker. That's all it amounts to. Quite frankly, the story could have done without it. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's just... Uh, it's another Devil May Cry. It's just to wrap up the fucking franchise. I mean, they, they started off trying to do a reboot. Not sure if they're going to continue that one. They should. That one was pretty fucking fun. I love the hell out of it. This one, not so much. But I'm not ranking the game. I'm talking about the elements of gameplay that I liked and the one change I would make. Uh, as far as combos, yeah, no, it's still easy to get a combo up. You have your light attacks, your heavy attacks, you unlock uh, new combos and abilities with red orbs that you collect from killing enemies or just finding them in the world, breaking shit. You know, that standard Devil May Cry shit. You get new weapons, which also have combos and abilities, but that's that's really just for Dante. It's very limited. You start getting the really good shit whenever you get a character near the end of the game and they have to go back and replay some older parts. Why did it make me soak through, or wade through shit before I got to actually have fun with the game, by the way? Thank you for that. And I have one issue with this game that I've always had with the Devil May Cry games. And that is the lock-on mechanic. So you can lock on to enemies. I, I can't remember if it's tapping or holding down uh, the R1 button on the PlayStation controller. You tap or hold down R1. And it'll zoom in on the closest enemy. All of your attacks then get directed towards that enemy. And you can combo them. And it affects the way that the combos go off. I fucking hate it. It sucks. Whenever you have to manually lock on to them, yeah, I mean, yeah, you shoot straight forward, but you're blind to everything else around you, and whenever you're freebasing it, you can't really get the right death perception to actually hit the fuckers. 
Not a fan of that. Never have been. I could stand in Devil May Cry 3 because the camera angle allowed me to figure out my placement within the room. I, I could stand it in Devil May Cry 4 because all I had to do was grab the motherfuckers and yank them to me. You can do some of the similar stuff, but the map's a lot more three-dimensional. The area you have to fight is a lot more free. So it makes for a pretty fucking big mess. Not only that, but there wasn't there wasn't a lot really keeping me invested in the game. Story? Yeah, that was fun. Nico? Fucking loved her, but I didn't get to see her as frequently as I liked, and she became a less prevalent character as the game went on, so... Thanks for that. My addition? Let's start off playing as Dante, please. We, we don't have to finish the game as him, okay? Da Make us play to a certain part, like very start of the game, just say you can pick these three characters, do the certain missions that coincide with them, and work your way down the chain, man. Don't go, you're playing as Nero. Okay, Nero's doing something. You're playing as V. Yeah, you're redoing this mission, that mission, that mission, that mission, that mission, that mission. Oh, V went past Nero. Well, play more Nero. Hey, guess what? Dante entered the fray. Play a little bit of Dante. Oh, in, in order to go a little bit more forward, you have to go all the way back and play as V again. And then you have to do a couple missions as Dante. And then you have your selection of the three for two more missions. And then guess what? Back down to Nero and Dante. Here's the thing. Give us the availability. The game's fun. Don't get me wrong. It's fun. Fuck the challenges. It's still hard. And I, I love and hate everything the Capcom puts out. I love it. I hate it. I'm not going to play this motherfucker again. I had a lot of fun. I sat there and knocked out in one day. Fucking enjoyed the hell out of it too. I went and I beat two more Devil May Cry games. Right after it. But uh, there's some elements that just aren't great. They've never been great. They, they were fine back when we didn't have options. But uh, now we do. Maybe change up the controls a little bit. Just... Low quality of life patch. That's all I'm asking. What would you add to this game? How do you feel about Devil May Cry 5? Post in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, keep on, keep it on. And I will talk shit about another game.